is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the Big Apple in New York City at the Telecom Exchange or Tex, and I am here with my friend, Mr. Eric Contag. Eric is the CEO of GlobeNet. Eric, welcome to JSA TV. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Outstanding, Eric. So how's the show going for you? Oh, phenomenal. I mean, we love coming here. I think, uh, you know, my team that, that's here enjoys it very much. Yeah. Uh, the cam camaraderie is phenomenal. You know, meeting people in the industry that you haven't seen for a while, it's great. It's a perfect venue. Eric, you're uh, more than just an attendee, you're also a participant, and I understand that you are just getting out of a CEO roundtable, and forgive me for having to write this down, as fiber as an investment. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about some of the key points that uh, were discussed during that roundtable? Oh, it, the, the roundtable was phenomenal. We had uh, people from YRE, we had a representative from Hibernia and CenturyLink, and of course myself from Globenet. And it, I try to add the perspective of not only the U.S. market, but also the international Latin American market. Uh, we heard from Canada, we heard from the U.S., we heard uh, the, about the trouble and, and how hard it is in some cases, mainly on the Axis um, mm -hmm. side, uh, and the fact that our industry is changing. I think, I think that's, that's a very important point. I think um, it, we're seeing a huge growth in demand, uh, not only in the United States, but as well internationally. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot happening, right? And at yes. the end of the day, uh, 2020 is going to be a year of, of 5G, uh, maybe 2022 in Latin America. Uh, people are talking in the previous panel about Internet of Things and how that's going to change things. Uh, and in order for all these things to happen, you have to have an infrastructure. And, and ideally, it needs to be a very solid, robust, diverse, resilient infrastructure in order to be able to deliver these services. The question then becomes is, outside of highly densely populated areas, uh, rural areas, what do you do? So we had a lot of discussion about, about that piece, a lot of fun actually. Very good, so okay, you mentioned international and um, let's go there, let's talk international. Let's talk about the, uh, the Olympic Games in Rio. I understand that that is a, a pretty key market for you there. Um, why don't you tell our, view, uh, your, our viewers a little bit about um, what the games kind of mean to Globenet? Oh, absolutely, I mean, we're very excited about the Olympics. Um, we actually were a key provider of services for the World Cup in 2014, and we learned an awful lot. Um, it was very important to actually have a very robust and resilient network, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy to report that that we delivered without a glitch. And so that's, that's excellent, excellent, absolutely important, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, I think I think the difference between the World Cup and the Olympics this time around is that in the case of the World Cup, you had stadiums all over the country, and you had very long backhauls to be able to reach those facilities. It was a challenge. Uh, Olympics is different. I mean, it's all going to be held in, in, in the city of Rio, in the mm -hmm. state of Rio. Um, so it's more about diversity, about being able to provide feeds in parallel. There's a lot of games happening at the same time. So, um, and, and we have very large carriers that depend on us and, and uh, sport uh, broadcasters that are going to be using our infrastructure to be able to provide these services live. That's so right? exciting. Right? It, 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 absolutely. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Failure is not an option. Right. So, so we have built up our team just to be able to support the Olympics. We're very, working very, very closely with the, the Brazilian sponsor of the Olympics. Um, we have recurring meetings with their technical teams to make sure that, that all the procedures are in place, that yeah. we've tested the network, that, that, I mean, it cannot fail. Right. Right. And so it's, it's going to be great. Outstanding. Eric, thanks as always uh, for being with us on JSA TV. Thank you for your, your, uh, your event support uh, here at uh, Telecom Exchange. Um, how can our viewers find out more about GlobeNet? Well, first and foremost, um, thank you very much for having me here. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's really great. It's phenomenal to, to participate. Regarding GlobeNet, please visit us at www.globenet.net. Outstanding. Thanks again, Eric. Thank you very much. Very good. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.